What's up, Phone Sites? Druby here. Uh, wanted to come in with a follow-up video to go with the new attach data function that we added to Phone Sites, allowing you to create the second opt-in funnels here. Uh, so the point of this video is to show you how to take your Zapier webhooks and delay the first webhook from firing for five minutes so that if the prospect goes through both pages of your funnel, uh, you're only getting one lead set up instead of getting duplicates in your inbox there. So in the essence of saving time, I've already gone in and created two Zapier webhooks. And if you have any questions about how to set those up, look for our Zapier webhook video in one of our other trainings, and that will definitely get you on the track to creating that part or reach out to us in the group. We'll help you get those set up. Uh, but I've already gone and done that. So that's to save a little bit of time here. Now, those webhooks, we've already tested it by entering it right here in page one and page two of our funnel in the post webhook section of the, design, the settings tab here. So what you're going to do is after you've established that both of those webhooks are set up correctly in the funnel, you're going to take the webhook from page one, you're going to cut that out of there, and we're going to go in and we're going to drop it into the script inside page two, uh, which is going to add that delay function, allowing, allowing us to eliminate the duplicate leads and keeping both webhooks from firing off immediately here. So we're going to go into our second page and we're going to here hit save, make sure everything's updated in there and then go back into settings here. And you'll see that I've already have this script pasted in and I'm gonna go ahead and include a copy of the script in the post below so that you have access to it so that you don't have to try and type everything out yourself um, and just copy and paste everything basically. So that webhook that we took from page one, we're gonna drop that right in here to this variable URL section, right where it says webhook goes here. So we're gonna paste that in there we're going to click save. Now what's going to happen is when we have the attached data feature set up on our first page of the funnel and the information is carried over to page two here on our second opt-in where we're going to ask for additional fields of information, it's going to delay that first webhook from firing for five minutes. That way, if the prospect was to go in here, see your page two and decide, you know what, we're not interested in bounce out, in five minutes it'll send the first lead through so that you make sure you don't miss out on that opportunity. If the prospect lands on page two and they take a few minutes, read through your copy and decide they're going to give you that additional information. When they fill out the form and hit the submit button to move on to your thank you page or whatever your redirect may be, it will immediately fire the second webhook that you've created to send out your second opt-in lead. Uh, so you can create them with a different look so that if you have different information or you want to set it up that way, you can customize that webhook. And again, I encourage you if you haven't already to check out the creating Zapier webhooks uh, video that we have for you if you know or need to know a little bit more about that. Um, but the whole idea with this script here is to really help you eliminate setting up all those duplicates and uh, getting them coming through to a CRM system or to your email box, so whatever way you may have that Zapier uh, set up there in your system. So again, what you're going to do is on page two of your funnel, you're going to copy and paste this script right into the custom code section, the webhook from page one, you're going to drop right into the variable URL section here. And again, this entire script is going to be in a post below here. So you can go in and copy that information out and paste it right into the funnel for yourself. So if you have any questions, I encourage you to reach out inside the phone sites user group. Let us know and we will be happy to walk you through the information. Uh, thank you again for visiting and listening in on what we got going on here. Have a great day.